Hello everyone, my name is Lakshmi Narayan and I'm part of the Customer Success Strategy and Architecture team at MuleSoft. Today, we will be looking into the features of OpCenter, which is a web-based management tool that enables you to monitor and manage your Runtime Fabric cluster. Runtime Fabric is the container service that automates the deployment and orchestration of your Mule applications and API gateways. It is provided as a software appliance for deploying into your data center or your private cloud environment. Runtime Fabric uses a tailored version of OpCenter and is the recommended management tool for your Runtime Fabric cluster. We can perform tasks such as monitor the health and status of your cluster, get detailed cluster information, create users, view logs, set up alerts, and so on. Let's get into it. We can use the built-in op center to monitor dashboards, view logs, set up alerts, and download debugging information within an AnyPoint Runtime Fabric. We can retrieve the location and credentials to log into the op center from the installation log file. Please make sure to change the password by clicking on settings and entering a new password. If we lose the installation logs, we can SSH into the controller node and create a new user with admin rights to log into the op center. We also have the option to invite new users create read-only roles, and assign it to them. After logging into OpCenter, we will see a list of tabs on the left side of the page. When we click on the admin tab, the system status on the top gives an indication of the health of the cluster. If we encounter an issue with Runtime Fabric and want to engage MuleSoft support team, we may, we may be asked for a packaged file containing debugging information. If we click on the Download Debug Info option on the top right corner, we will get a full report that collects diagnostics from all the cluster nodes that is required by support for further analysis. When we click on the Service tab, we can see the controller and the worker nodes listed. We can log into the controller node with root access. We can run commands such as gravity status to view the status of the cluster, or we can run commands to describe a particular node. This gives us a sense of what the reserved and limit values are for CPU and memory, as well as the agents that are running. Please note, the reserved CPU is the amount of CPU guaranteed to the application and reserved for its use. The CPU limit is the maximum amount of CPU the application can use, that is the level to which it can burst. This is shared CPU on the worker node. When the value of the CPU limit is set higher than the value of the reserved CPU, the application can burst up to either the CPU limit value or the amount of unreserved CPU on the worker node, whichever is less. We can also identify the headroom required to run agents like log forwarding, monitoring, etc. For more commands and options, please refer to the Kubernetes documentation. The Operations tab can be used to understand the list of activities that were performed on the RTF cluster. It also shows the information on a specific operational activity, such as when it was performed and the status of that activity. Ops Center shows a stream of logs outputted by application and applications and services running on Runtime Fabric. We can also view the logs for a specific pod. To do so, click on the Kubernetes option on the sidebar, click on the Pods tab, click on the Environment ID where the application was deployed on the right dropdown. For the specific pod, you will have the option to be redirected to the Logs tab with a filter applied for your pod. This is useful in cases where log forwarding is not set up. You can also check the CPU and memory usage for a specific pod by selecting Monitoring in the dropdown. Also notice, each app replica has two containers, App and AnyPoint Monitoring. 
we can SSH into the app container to look at the Mule app log and perform additional debugging. The AnyPoint monitoring sidecar container in each pod collects and sends application metrics to the AnyPoint management plane. For customers with titanium subscription, the container also sends application logs to the management plane and can be turned off by customers if needed. OpCenter also provides critical information on the nodes that are part of the Kubernetes cluster, like the node status and the CPU and memory allocated. It also provides information on other Kubernetes components, such as services, jobs, and deployments. OpCenter also provides monitoring dashboards that provide a graphical overview of four metrics. They are CPU, memory, network, and file system usage. These metrics can be visualized for the entire cluster or for each pod. Let us look at one of the pods where an application is deployed. We can configure the time ranges for which we want to visualize the CPU and memory usage. We can also quickly deep dive to do more troubleshooting and understand the usage. We have the individual CPU, memory and network usage for each pod and these are for both the app as well as the AnyPoint monitoring container. Please note that while the dashboards in OpCenter provide infrastructure and usage details at the cluster and pod level, we can use the AnyPoint monitoring dashboards to get detailed insights at the application level like the performance metrics, flow level metrics, failures over a period of time, and custom metrics information. We also have a dashboard for customers to monitor their overall core usage. These dashboards are based on Grafana and are not customizable. We can create a custom dashboard by logging into the controller node and creating a new resource that specifies the metadata and the dashboard data. We can then load the custom dashboard configuration in the monitoring namespace by running the kubectl command. We will be able to visualize the custom dashboard in the monitoring section. Moving on to alerts. Capacitor is the alerting system that streams data from InfluxDB and sends, sends alerts as configured by the end user. These are built-in alerts available in OpCenter. The configuration detail for the alerts like the threshold and reset values, frequency, time windows, email content can be found and changed in the capacitor alerts config map in the monitoring namespace. Capacitor triggers an email for each of the events listed, listed in the built-in alert section if the SMTP resource has been configured. For example, if we look at this alert for high CPU, Capacitor will trigger a warning if the usage is above 75% and a critical error if the usage is above 90%. We can also create custom alerts written in tick script and apply them using the kubectl command. They will also be available in the monitoring namespace. For further reading, please refer to our MuleSoft documentation website. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this provided you with insight into how the built-in Ops Center can be used to monitor and manage your runtime fabric appliance. Bear in mind, while the monitoring capabilities in Ops Center are more infrastructure oriented, AnyPoint Monitoring provides additional dashboards and customizations for your Mule APIs and applications. Thank you.